Scott Belsky, co-founder of Behance and author of Making Ideas Happen. My name is Baratunde Thurston. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Cultivated Wit, also the author of How to Be Black. And I'm here as a part of Fast Company's Creative Conversations. Boom. I always tell people that the first thing they should do when they have an idea is act. You know, like act yeah. without conviction. You know, your mother told you to think before you act. Like yeah. It's the opposite. Just, just jump. start, just jump and take <laughs> micro action. <laughs> but the thing is, is I mean, you make a good point. Yeah. Like maybe sometimes when you're generating ideas, I mean, you guys do this all the time. Yeah. Do you force yourselves to sit with things before taking action so you know that you're acting on the right ones? Here's the worst case scenario. Yeah. You're sitting around a conference table. Right. Someone who's running the meeting, someone with more authority than the people around the table says, I'd love some ideas about this thing. Mm -hmm. Who's got some? <laughs> and then there's a bunch of awkward staring. Right. And people are looking around, some people are on their phones, some people are fidgeting. Most people are waiting yeah. for someone to step up. Yeah. And then you get the extrovert phenomenon. Sure. Where the people who talk all like that nerd that they raises their hurt. hand in class Absolutely. for every question, like we get it, you're smart and participatory, <laughs> which gives everybody else an exit. Right. Which is like, I don't have to think of things because Jane is gonna grab the mic. Right. Or the person with most authority says something and everybody feels a little deferential. Well, the yeah. VP Bobness yeah. uh, of, of the VPness said the thing. That's probably going to happen anyway because they've right. got the budget or the cloud or whatever. So you end up with people kind of holding back. Yeah. So our process is focused on how do you set the stage, like set some boundaries, yeah. get people to do to think about their idea alone, right? Work in isolation temporarily, right. and then bring that back to the group, and then have the group discuss that fodder. Um, and so the, the the idea of what's worth working on is where the group mind comes in. Yep. And you hash that out. And yep. you argue and you fight and you say yes or no, but the spark has to be somewhat done in isolation. Right. Otherwise, politics and laziness right. uh, or intimidation yep. or quietness limit the pool of ideas that you start from. So it's almost you know, making sure that our personality types don't get in the yeah. way of the contributions we can make in a brainstorm. And I talk a lot. Yeah. I will be the first, I love talking. Right, right. I don't necessarily have the best ideas all the time, right. but I will fill an empty space because that's what I'm programmed to do. Like yeah. I'm more of a performer and that can have a cost if there's yeah. someone else in the room who's more brilliant on this subject. Right. It's like, oh, there goes Baratunde doing his Baratunde thing. <laughs>